Hello everyone, I am Imran and you're watching my YouTube channel Ireki Diner News today. The paragraph you provided consists of statements and opinions from individuals within the Dinar Guru community. This community engages in discussions and speculation about the potential value appreciation of the Ireki Dinar. However, it is important to note that their opinions and predictions are often based on rumors, speculation, and unverified information. The first statement mentions the potential presentation of the securities law to the House of Representatives, which is seen as a positive development for activating the Eric Stock Exchange for international transactions. This is considered significant and could potentially create new opportunities related to the dinar. The next statement discusses the exchange strategy of an individual named Frank 26, who plans to exchange only a portion of their dinars and hold on to the rest, anticipating a gradual increase in value over time. Another statement mentions an unsupported claim that IREC is the ninth wealthiest country globally, with an estimated wealth exceeding $15 trillion. It is important to note that this claim lacks substantiation and appears to be an unsupported opinion. The suggestion is made that this claim supports the idea of a real effective exchange rate for the dinar, but without evidence, its credibility is questionable. The paragraph then refers to the budget being published in the Gazette, which is considered a significant step. It suggests that even if the new exchange rate is not included in the budget, it could still be changed at any moment. The opinion shared is that the rate of 1,310 dinars per dollar is not the rate included in the budget and a different rate would be needed to transition from trillions to billions of dinars. There is a reference to an article from Forbes listing the Iraqi dinar as the 10th weakest currency in the world in 2023. It is suggested that as Iraq improves its economy, the value of the dinar is expected to increase. However, without providing specific details or the full context of the Forbes article, it is difficult to evaluate the reliability or significance of this claim. Frank 26 mentions a pattern related to the national currency of Iraq and emphasizes that they are discussing the national currency, not the previous program rate. The new exchange rate is expected to be implemented for international trade, and it is believed that this will allow the dinar to gain value. However, no specific details or explanations are provided to support this expectation. Yada expresses the belief that the currency will need to change due to budget demands and argues that it cannot operate successfully at a rate of 1,300 dinars to one unit of another currency. However, no further details or evidence are provided to support this claim. Himpi refers to the historical value of the Iraqi dinar, mentioning different exchange rates over time and the overall decline in value since the 1980s. However, without providing specific analysis or context regarding these historical rates and their implications for the future value of the dinar, it is difficult to draw meaningful conclusions. Finally, Frank 26 speculates that exchanging dinars into U.S. dollars could contribute to the U.S. Treasury and potentially help pay off the U.S. deficit. It is important to note that this statement is speculative and lacks concrete evidence or analysis to support its claim. In summary, the paragraph presents a collection of statements and opinions from individuals within the Dinar Guru community. While they discuss various aspects of the Iraqi Dinar's potential value appreciation, exchange rates, Iraq's wealth, and its impact on the U.S. deficit, it is important to approach these statements with caution and critical thinking, as they may not be based on reliable or verified information. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more latest information about the Iraqi Dinar.